What is going on Adventure Nation? In this episode we head over to La Ventana to get a few kite parts. We take a ride in a UTV to go get ice cream and then I have a little bit of a failed kite experience. This is the Motorhome Experiment. Oh, sorry. I know I haven't been running a camera much while we're down here in Los Brillos, but tonight, tonight's kind of a sad night, Lori, isn't it? It is. We're losing a member. Yeah. One of the one of the crew team members here is uh, is leaving us. Uh, I don't know what Kevin and I are going to do for stories now that Chuck's leaving. You'll figure something out. Chuck's been like, 1932, I was a submarine commander for the U.S. <laughs> secret military, and then in 1946, I was head of the sonar radar system for mars or something i don't know he actually knows santa claus yeah yeah he's no, personally he's personally met santa claus i know him <laughs> so anyways tonight we're going over to gecko and celebrate his departure so ready to go i want to say celebrate well not celebrate his departure well i guess yeah it's still celebrate commemorate how's that <laughs> commemorate <laughs> Oh, by the way, El Gecko is a little restaurant right here next door to Playa Norte RV Park. It is an absolute gorgeous night out. You can see there's a few people out on the beach. Sunset is normally a time where people come out and swim if the water's calm, and today happens to be pretty calm. El Gecko is definitely not the cheapest restaurant here in Los Barillas, but it, it is the most convenient with the 100-yard walk being right next to our RVs. And it's a great place to catch a sundowner before heading back to the RVs for the night. We will say Chuck is one of the easiest going guys and was a lot of fun to travel with. We will definitely miss him on the way back north, but we'll pick him up again and bring him back down during the caravan in February. Today we are heading on a little bit of a... I don't know what happened to the camera back there, but we're on our way to La Ventana and Baje de los Sueños, Baje de los Muertos. Bahia. Why is it? Bahia. De los Sueños. I'm trying to get that. De los Sueños, the Bay of Dreams. And it's also known as the Bay of Death for some reason, or parts of it. So I don't Everybody know why. Everybody knows, knows it as the Bay of Dreams, but Paul loves more the idea yeah. of Bay of the dead. Yeah. yeah, I like that better. But anyways, we're heading over there today. Uh, do a little scouting and uh, doing the TME thing where we're getting lost in the moment. And who knows where we'll wind up. So stick around. Hopefully, we'll it. La Ventana is about a 60 minute drive from Los Perillas. And other than a little animal traffic, it's a pretty easy drive. We have arrived in La Ventana and the first case of business is find myself some new kiteboard straps. Baja Joe's in La Ventana is a cool little surf camp slash kite camp. They have the only surf slash kiting store in Southern Baja. And there's a little coffee shop, a place you can grab a snack. They have some cool little rooms with this main living area where you can keep your stuff in a refrigerator there's a place for you to cook a little kitchen area and a place to kick back and relax and read a book all right that was a good catch Lorena we literally as we were walking up they were closing down the the uh, roll-up door and Lori's like no <laughs> Oh, and she I dove was, under the door and then yeah and then the, <laughs> the lady opened the store for me so I got my foot straps uh, the reason I got foot straps is I, the other day I probably didn't mention it but I, I broke one of my foot straps I have a feeling it was from getting yanked out of my board by my kite uh, violently when I did something wrong so we are gonna be good to go now. I can get back up on the board. Although, the guys from Exotic Kite did loan me some straps, so I was able to, to kite. I just didn't wanna ruin their stuff either. So, 
Let's explore a little bit more of La Ventana. See, now you're a happy camper. He was all bummed. Was yeah, I was all bummed. I didn't camper. think we were going to make it in time. Because 7 a.m. to noon means kind of 7 a.m. to maybe noon. It's more in like 8 ish to yeah. 11 ish. Yeah, so I didn't think we were going to make it on time. Playa Central is one of the places I grabbed a couple hour kite lesson the last time we were in La Ventana. It is a cool little bar restaurant and it is literally right in the center of town. It has what I would consider as eclectic decor, but it's a fun little place to hang out and watch the kiters. We are here at Playa Central. Oh, sorry, I caught you. I gotta actually do it up here so I'm not looking up your skirt. We are here at Playa Central, and Lori's grabbing herself a, what are, what are you having? Margarita. Oh, margarita. I'm just doing a fresca, that's all they had. But check out how many kites are out here today, and it's not supposed to be a really windy day. It is crazy. And that is just one tiny spot on the beach as you go north of here and there's just hundreds of kites it's crazy on this day the wind was a little bit light there were a lot of kites out but nothing compared to what we saw the next time when we came down with kevin today is ice cream day and ice cream day in los Barillas means we got a little traveling to do. Are you ready for ice cream? Uh, what's ice cream? You scream. Everybody scream. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> ready for some ice cream, Laura? Sure. Lori? Can you see me? I'm going in already. Yeah, she's already in there. I guess you're ready. Playa Norte Campground has two arroyos bordering each side. The arroyo on the south is considered the Buena Vista Arroyo, and the arroyo to the north is the San Bartolo Arroyo, which goes up to San Bartolo, which we took this day to head up and go get some ice cream. It was about an hour and 15 minutes, maybe an hour and a half drive up the arroyo, again with some animal traffic as what happens in this area. There were a few areas with some thick brush that made it a little bit slower going than we had expected, but that's because we had no clue what we were doing heading up the Arroyo. As we get closer to San Bartolo in the Arroyo, a stream starts to appear and a tropical oasis forms in front of our eyes with cool vegetation making the ride a little bit more interesting. That was a very interesting ride to say the least. And now we think the restaurant is closed. Well, here's the place and over there says it's open. Let's, uh, let's find out, but this is uh, Zopi Lotus. I saw a lady up there a second ago. I say we just go down in, see what happens. Hola. Hey. Yeah. Abierto! We've got famous YouTube people in their recording video over here. See, I know he won't post this now. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> We're at Zopalotes here in San Bartolo. This was recommended to us by our friends Richard and Cheryl Hampton. Thank you. Well, we shouldn't say thank you yet. We haven't tasted the ice cream, but it's supposed to be amazing. What do you think? Is it going to be as it's amazing? It's pretty cool. I think the trek also was cool. Yeah, the journey to get here up the wash, a little bit different. And this is a reward right here. Yeah. yeah. We'll explain more of that maybe later, but yeah, <laughs> the chicken fighting ranch was interesting. 
Ooh, check these out. There's real food bloggers over there. Check them out. How is it? Is it as good as Richard and Cheryl say? Um, it is pretty amazing. Yeah? Pretty good. And you got what flavors? Lime and mint and coconut. So, lime and mint there, coconut down there. I have strawberry here and boring old vanilla on the bottom because I like my ice cream boring. Oh, Lori destroyed my strawberry by putting lime on it. No, I don't want lime on my strawberry. Now, Richard and Cheryl claim this is the greatest ice cream in the world. And since I haven't eaten ice cream all over the world, I can't tell you, but this is some of the best ice cream I've ever had, that's for sure. This lime mint, this stuff is crazy. Mmm, delicious. Sorry, walking in the wrong place in the camera. You guys should come and try this. We are done with our ice cream. Time to leave. Uh, it was delicious, so Richard and Cheryl were right. It was amazing. Time to head back through the wash, back to whatever place it is we're staying. Los Barillas, <laughs> that place. Today is propane day. Propane. Yeah. So, propane guys come right to your site here, which is kind of cool. And uh, we've already got ours filled up. They're just getting ready to do Kevin and Laura's now. So, it's kind of nice that they can drop right by the campground and get you squared away. And I know they do that in some places in the U.S., but here it's just really the best way, especially when you're staying somewhere for months at a time. So, thanks to EcoGas, man. Now it's their turn. Okay, Lori, it looks like you're gonna have hot showers again. I'm just so happy. We had like <laughs> one week of cold showers and it's not good. Well, it's good for you. I yeah. Don't like it. I've been doing cold showers for a year, so <laughs> I don't mind. But I need my hot Lori, water. it's not her favorite thing. She needs her hot, At least hot my showers. Look warm water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, the wind is blowing today, and we're gonna go put the kite up. You can see that's why I've got the, the whiteness on the face, the sunscreen. I'm still in that embarrassing learning mode, but we're gonna go give it a shot. I'm not doing it. Kevin, we're gonna get him some equipment soon and get him up too. Whoop, whoop. Lori, what about you? Are you gonna give it a shot? At some point, maybe. I don't believe that. Your chicken. The first clue I should have had today was not going to be a good day for kiting was the fact that there was no other kites, but I blew up my kite anyways to prepare to go out, but it wasn't going to happen. Oddly enough, in Southern Baja, the only place that you can get kite gear, or new kite gear at least, is Baja Joe's in La Ventana. So we headed over there. And as you saw in the video, it looks really busy, but it's nothing compared to what it is the next time we visit. So I can't wait to show you that video. There is a lot of kites. Getting ice cream in San Bartolo is something that everybody here in Los Barillas loves to do. Some people drive up on the highway, other people take the Arroyo, in a UTV and it is a fantastic trip up there. A lot of fun and you get to see areas that you wouldn't normally see in a car so that makes it really, really cool. My failed kite experiment there was the fact that there wasn't enough wind. The uh, kite requires a certain amount of wind to get in the air. The bigger the kite, the lighter the wind that you can go in but my kite 
was just not even big enough to get up in the wind that I was trying to get up in, so we didn't have anything to show you there. But in the future, I will have some stuff that I can show you, and I'm actually up and riding now and doing fairly well, so it's been a, a great few weeks here in Los Barillas. But this is where we're gonna end this one, so if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us, and that means you have to hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you click that notifications bell so you'll get a little ding every time we post a new video and we'll see you again in the next episode. Wind's blowing, time to go kiting.